As many of you know, Android 12 is upon us and with it comes a lot of new features. As brands scramble to chase the pointless title of first to update to Android 12, we have Oppo with ColorOS 12. So this ColorOS 12 is already installed on the Find X3 Pro but this is an Android developer preview channel so it's not the final product yet but it's pretty close. So in today's video, we're just gonna quickly go along and have a tour to look at what's new with ColorOS 12. Now, I put a lot of emphasis on software when it comes to phones because that is the one thing that we will all interact with when we pick up our phones. And I think a lot of people will remember that OnePlus is merging with Oppo as if they aren't already the same company to begin with and they will merge Oxygen OS with Color OS. And I'm not sure if Color OS 12 is considered the first merged OS, but that's not the point today. Color OS 12 comes with a few different changes here and there, but overall I think it's something like a cleaned up version of Color OS 11. Oppo touts something called inclusive design, which includes a more cleaner yet more spacious UI that somehow resembles Samsung's One UI. Oppo also cleaned up the settings menu so that it's more easily recognizable now as each item is represented by a colorful circle with its logo inside. Each color is vibrant and the spacing is also well done. But one cool feature here is called Color Vision Enhancement. I'm not sure if this feature is meant for people with color blindness but it allows you to change between different color filters. We can also take a quick test to personalize how the colors will look the most comfortable to us. And that's something new, I'd say. And then there's also something called Omoji, which is Oppo's version of Animoji from the iPhones. And unfortunately, our version of ColorOS 12 still doesn't have Omoji built in yet. But from what we have seen here, Omoji is technically just, again, Animoji that you can use to scatter around the OS so that it's more personalized towards what you like and have your avatar everywhere. One of the areas that you can use this Omoji avatar that you've created is in the AOD or always on display. So AOD is a feature that I personally do not use but here you can see there are a lot more customization options and you can also put your own Omoji here like what we mentioned earlier so that you can look at your avatar when you don't want to unlock your phone but still want to look at your phone. And speaking of customization and personalization, Oppo created something called Wallpaper Based Theming System which lets you select a certain color palette so that it will be used across the entire system. And in terms of new productivity related features, we have new PC mode, but it is also not available in our version of ColorOS 12, so we can't show it to you. Technically, it's kind of similar to the Windows 10's Your Phone utility, so I'm not sure why Oppo developed yet another version of the same app just to do the same things. And since Android 12 is focused on privacy, Oppo decided to follow and integrate all of the privacy features from Android 12. Let's say if the camera is in use, then it will display a little notification at the top right corner there, which eventually becomes a distinct green dot to tell you that something is using the camera at that time. So you won't have any peeping toms. And speaking of peeping, Oppo also developed something called anti-peeping notification feature thing which combines a few different sensors on the phone itself so it can know that you are in a public place so that your notification will not have that preview of messages. But once again, unfortunately, I don't think that feature is available on this build of ColorOS 12 yet so we cannot show you if it actually works or not. But all in all, that's a pretty quick look at what Oppo has to offer with the new ColorOS 12. I would honestly say that it's pretty similar to ColorOS 11 with a few changes here and there and a few more features sprinkled on top. Nothing really major change. And Oppo also promised updates for their current devices. But it's somewhat discriminatory against their own products. So the Oppo X series will get 3 Android updates, 4 years of security updates. But the Reno and F series will only get 2 Android updates with 4 years of security update. And yet the A series we only get one Android update for selected models and three years of security updates. As for how often you get all of these updates or how fast you get them, that is something that I cannot answer. And we also question Oppo if they will remove those bloatware like their 
own app market which serves no purpose and then they also have some other useless shortcuts like hot games hot apps on the oppo reno series of smartphones that we reviewed earlier i asked them if they remove that and they say typical answer of we'll consider removing them so i'm not sure if they will but i really hope that those bloatware should be just be non-existent anymore but that's all about color west 12 do let us know what you guys think about color west 12 in general or will you get something else instead so leave all your comments and thoughts down in the description below and we'll see you guys in the next video